Katie's here now. Fascinating to talk to that young woman who's got regrets about what she did to her body. Yeah, and I think it's a good example of, ex you know, we experiment with fashion, hair and makeup, all mm. things, you know, we look back at photos and think, oh, and you change oh, your hair. Are you tell me about it. it. Yeah, <laughs> I know. But when it's plastic surgery, you know, yeah. as we see on the show, reversals aren't as easy, they're more expensive, and they're usually higher risk than the original procedure. No, very much so. This is the most, I would say, probably the most extreme series yet. Yeah, definitely. I mean, some <laughs> of the people that you, you, you're talking to. It's almost like self-mutilation, Katie. It, it, it's sort of like that, you know, the things that they're doing to themselves. I think what was interesting for me is what started out as people trying to be different and in the minority has now become so mainstream, it's not that shocking. So I suppose if right. we go to the next level mm. um, to stand out and to try to be more alternative, maybe. Some people are deliberately doing this scarification thing. Yeah. Where they deliberately cut themselves and then it's 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 not like tattoos. I don't know how you can really describe it. I suppose scarification is the word, isn't it? Yeah, well, the scarification is interesting because I think when we were making the show, some of the researchers thought, would I be offended by it? Would I find it hard to interview yes. somebody like that? But actually, it took it back to me um, thinking, well, why is scarring unattractive? Actually, why? You know, this is the same as a tattoo. Mine wasn't intended or planned out. Indeed. But they're just markings on my body that make me different, whether they're chosen or not. So mm -hmm. in a way, the scarification reinforced that to me. And actually, maybe it helps in society our society to normalize scars in a way right okay i just wonder why you would want to, to to do that to yourselves but that's a brilliant attitude yeah that you've got that is an amazing attitude you've got that maybe we've all got to be a wee bit more accepting in, yeah. in so many ways and whether know? it's planned or unplanned to me a scar is never an unattractive marking it's just a di it's just it's, an individual thing it's part of your life isn't it yeah. it's, part, it's part of your life it's the, the way things happen mm -hmm. the way things turn out as far as things are going for you you look very very well i know you've still got this yeah your no your nose the operations are still happening Oh, yeah. yeah, so I had a nose surgery um, just after my wedding in November right. Right. Um, and I've got to keep the tubes in for two years. So this is my kind of modification. <laughs> this is, right. this is okay. my face jewellery, my way oh, of being different. Right. So okay. I guess you yeah. just get used to it, like everything else you have do to you get Do you know what? The choice is like wear it and be able to breathe or don't wear uh, it. I can't breathe. Well, it's, so. it's no choice. You mentioned the wedding and I haven't yeah. seen you since then. Congratulations. Thank How you. was the day? You look beautiful. Oh, thank you. Beautiful. Yeah, it was amazing and we postponed it so many times because I had all these problems with my throat and was having surgery yeah, yeah, so yeah. in the end we were able to go through with it and it was just a nice way because it'd been quite a difficult year health wise yes so it was a nice way to end the year um and it was a small thing just like friends close friends family so as it should be yeah as it should be just so, so everybody that loves you the year yeah. wishing you well which is fantastic people forget sometimes with you katie you do have to keep having these operations it's not something that it stops, you yeah. know, you, it's because, is this because st scar tissue is forming all the yeah, time? Yeah, the scar you, tissue uh, keeps forming. So I'm having um, sort of eyelid surgery with a lid shrink, throat operations, nose operations. And I think in a way that was why when making body shockers, I could have empathy for some of these people. Because, yes. you know, you could say, well, they put themselves there by having the procedure in the first place. Well, so what? They're still walking a difficult journey and everyone's journey is relevant. Absolutely. And nobody wants to go through multiple procedures, whether it was planned or not, you mm, know. Mm. Um, so I did feel for people as kind of one human being to another. No, that's what comes across loud and clear in the series. It really does. And I think that's what makes it so different from any, from anyone else because you do have that understanding. Yeah. And that comes across loud and clear, you mm -hmm. know, when, when people are having regrets. And I know sometimes, and it'd be really interesting, I'd love you to go back to that chap, for oh, example, you know, the, the platypus guy. Yeah. I'd love you to go back to him maybe five, ten years down the line and say, yeah. well, where are we now? And do you have any? Yeah. It'd be fascinating. The Sunday will have up. some great work, top quality work, great tattoos. And they and look if they fantastic. Feel good, yeah, and if yeah, they feel good they about really it, do. That's what it's all about. Yeah. Katie, thank you so, so much. Great to see you and thank you. And good luck with the series. Thank you. Good thank to you see you too. Much, Katie.